what's up everybody so on this video i am be walking you through my ice fishing snowmobile setup and why i went this route so over the past few years i've seen way too many atvs get stuck out there with a few inches of snow or a little bit of slop and they always get stuck although there is the option of throwing tracks on these atvs when you look at the prices of these tracks though they're about as much as the cheap snowmobile now the other thing about the ATV is it's a little bit heavier and the weight is not as dispersed evenly as the snowmobile. So when conditions get iffy, the snowmobile is a safer option. They can gun it or they can jump those heaves a little bit nicer. So one thing about the ATV is that it's multi-season use and it's a little bit nicer when there isn't much snow or ice. They can handle rocks or pavement a lot better than the snowmobile and also Another thing nice about the ATV is it has a high towing capacity. So you can really load that up. You can pull the trailer with a bunch of people and you can pull a permanent shanty out there while a snowbill is limited to what it can pull. But overall, I prefer the snowbill just because it's probably not going to get stuck out there. It's going to be a strictly ice fishing machine and they're fast and they're really fun to ride. So my ice fishing machine is a 2007 Polaris Trail Touring Deluxe Snowmobile with a 550 fan-cooled engine. So the fan-cooled engine is a pretty important part when you're selecting a snowmobile. Just because years like we've had in the past where there's not much snow, you're able to still take it out there without the engine overheating. It doesn't really rely on the snow to cool the motor down. Now another thing you want to consider when selecting a snowmobile is the length of the track and how wide it is. The longer and wide it is, the more traction you're going to have. My particular snowmobile has a 130 inch track that is 15 inches wide. So another thing that's a must is to have some studs on your track. It's just a safety precaution and you just got to have that extra traction when you're on the ice. Um, it helps you go a little better, helps you pull a little bit more stuff and it helps you stop a lot quicker. So my particular model is a two up model. It's pretty nice being able to take another person with you and they could ride pretty comfortable in the back. And if anything, you could take that seat out and add more cargo space, but the two up seat was a must for the wife. Now, some other features on this sled that I find nice and convenient. They do have some nice hand warmers for the driver and passenger. It's kind of nice when you're running around, you don't have to throw your gloves back on every single time. I also have a phone mounted on the windshield there. It's kind of nice to have that there so you can use that as a navigation, but eventually I'll probably throw a hummingbird on the snowmobile maybe in a Hummer 360 and that'll just make it top notch. Another nice thing that I put on my snowmobile are these Kemp roller ski wheels. They kind of attach to your wheels and it's really nice when you're driving on pavement. You know, if you ever drove in a snowmobile before, when you're on the pavement, you can't really turn, but these wheels pop on and off really quick and allows you to navigate on pavement before you get onto the ice. Now that we've seen the snowmobile itself, let's go ahead and take a look at the cargo area and the bumper. So on the bumper, I have a quick release hitch pin. It's kind of convenient to have that so I can attach and remove my shanty quickly. Now when we look at the cargo area, the base of this is a piece of wood that I put down on the bottom there. I did spray with some rubber coating just to keep it dry. I attached this piece of board by running some U-bolts down the middle and then running a ratchet strap through those U-bolts and attaching to the base of the two up seat and then coming back out and hooking on to the bumper. Now on the two sides of the boards, I put some eye bolts going down just so I can get a turnbuckle to attach to that and back onto the frame just for some added stability. Now in the center of this board, I have this 20 gallon Husky heavy duty storage container. Uh, this thing fits my life skill perfectly with some added tackle and some extra gear and I would have went with a bigger box, but with my clamshell style trailer, it just wouldn't fit a bigger box. So this size was perfect. Now on the other side, I have a milk crate. This holds my bucket really nicely, but on this milk crate, I have these clam rod holders, which is really nice because you can set it up as an angle instead of straight across and up and down, which allows for some space saving. And with these clam rod holders, I have a bungee cord running around making sure that my rods don't fly off when I'm going real fast. Now on the other side, there is my Polaris bag. This has all my tools, all my oils, and just any emergency gear that I need that's in there. Next to my bag is my Digger's auger mount. I would prefer to have it on my front bumper, but with my current trailer right now, I just can't get enough space to get that mount to stick in there. So it'll have to sit on the side for now. 
So overall, I'm pretty happy with my ice fishing snowmobile setup. I just want to throw a hummingbird on there still and then move that auger to the front just so I could get a little bit more storage there. But I just like how everything's laid out right now. I can be super mobile. Everything's just an arm reach away and I don't have to dig through the shanty at all. But anyways, I'm really happy I chose a snowmobile over ATV. I just feel like it's a lot safer being on the ice and I don't have to worry about getting stuck out there. Plus, it's just a lot more fun. There's been those slow days where we're not catching much and it's just fun or done that thing. But anyways, if you guys have any questions on this, please feel free to let me know. But if you guys haven't yet, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you guys and good luck fishing.